Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make this very clean button shine effect. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do, of course, is um, create our button. So what I'm going to do is just make a new screen GUI and then make a new text button. Um, I'm just going to go with a very um, simple button here. So let's just center that everywhere. And I'm just going to size this to my liking. And I think that is a good size. And I'm just going to paste in some other small things that I already have made. And so the things I just added in were um, a UI corner, UI stroke, and just a text label. So nothing uh, too big, just some very basic stuff. Um, but once we do this, this is where um, the magic comes in. So the important thing is that you want to make sure that your text button is white to begin with. And to change the color, uh, what we're going to do is actually add in a UI gradient. And so, of course, right now nothing happened. But what we're going to do is change the color sequence. And the way we do that is by clicking UI gradient, selecting color, and then clicking on these three dots. So we're going to get the color sequence. What I'm going to do is make this just a nice red color. So I'm going to go with a color like this. And what you want to do is just copy the color. So I'm just going to copy the HTML and paste it on this side as well. So when you look at your button, it should be the same color. So just one normal color. And what I'm going to do to make a partition in this color sequence is just a click in the middle. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. Um, and once you do this, we want to move this to the middle. And the way we're going to do that easily is just by changing the time to just 0.5. So that's going to center this exactly in the middle. And by selecting the middle, it'll turn yellow. We're going to set the color to just a very faint version of your color. So I chose red. And so what I'm actually going to do is copy paste that. Uh, I'm just going to choose a very faint version of that color. And I think this looks good. And thus, I'm going to keep it. So this looks good, and I'm just going to hit close. And there we have our gradient. And now the final thing that I'd recommend doing is just to set the rotation to 45. That will make this horizontal gradient um, effect, like the shine going from left to right, instead of it, of course, going up and down. But once we've set up the button, we can actually start coding this right away. So what I'm going to do is insert a local script into the text button. So in the script, we need to get the button, which is going to be script.parent. We need the gradient, which is going to be the button. We're going to wait for the UI gradient. We need the tween service. So I'm just going to get the tween service just like that. Now we need to put in some tween settings. So local tween time is one, local easing style. I'm going to do enum.easingstyle.circular and the easing direction is going to be enum.easingdirection.out. After that, we need to set up our tween goals. So local left to right is going to be an offset, which is going to be a vector2.new10. So that's just going to move the X from here to here, so left to right. I'm going to duplicate this and just name this right to left and just set this to negative one. So it's going to go in the opposite direction. Once we do that, let's reset the gradient's position by setting the offset to a vector two, which would be negative one, zero. So that's just going to be starting on the left side. And now let's create the tween. So local tween forward is going to be a new tween. So tween servers are create. We'll pass through the gradients, tween info dot new, tween time, easing style, easing direction. And finally, we want to put left to right as the property table. So make sure we have a parenthesis here, comma, and then there. I'm going to duplicate this 
let's make this tween backward. And the only thing we want to change is make this right to left, just like that. Now we need to get the hover effects. So button.mouse enter is going to be a new function and tween forward play and button.mouse leave. So we're checking when the mouse enters and the mouse leaves. If it leaves, we'll set the tween backward to play. And so overall, this is a very short script, um, nothing very complicated. We can actually play the game and test this out right now. So I'm in the game. Let me just get that. And when I hover, we see this really nice gradient effect, which in my opinion looks really great. You've probably seen it in games like Pet Sim and all that. And so, yeah, that is the simple shine effect in action. Um, but if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm planning to post a lot more, so that will be awesome. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.